Hello, my name's Elias, and um, I let me just warn you first that uh, English is not my first language. I am Latin, uh, but I just wanted to make a video to put my ideas out there because I am Latin, and um, I am Venezuelan, and I just moved to Argentina about four months ago. Four months ago, exactly. Um, because as some, very few of you actually know that what Venezuela is going through and is that uh, it's a, it's a, it has the highest inflation of the world. It has a, it's the most dangerous country in the world. Uh, it's very bad right now thanks to a corrupt communist, socialist government that has destroyed my country. So I had to move and I had to find opportunities in um, in other places, and that's why I came to Buenos Aires, Argentina. <clears throat> so, so I am pro-immigration, but uh, I am not for letting people into your country that won't help your country, that won't help your country progress econom economically, etc. That doesn't make any sense to me, and I came to Argentina to work and to study and to make a life for myself while paying taxes and while being a part of society that contributes. And that's what I think is missing from the people that uh, the government of the United States is bringing into America now. And, um, you know, Donald Trump said that Mexicans are all rapists and they bring... Uh, the, uh, Bang, bang. They, ah, eh, coño. They just do drugs into the United States and uh, they're rapists, etc. And assassins, criminals. That is not true. That is not true that it's a bigoted racist statement. I don't think racist. But uh, it is bigoted because I know many Mexicans that are decent people, that are educated people that are very smart, brilliant people. Uh, so that's not true, but the problem is that the United States it's not, it's, isn't bringing those people into the United States. They are bringing the people who won't contribute to the growth of the United States, and that's a problem for the United States. And being Venezuelan myself, I understand what bad socialism is. I understand what, what that is. If you know who Hugo Chavez is you will know that he was a he was a socialist that basically invented the rule of Latin America these days, which is that if you want to govern, you need poor people, you need poor people that depend on the government so you can stay in power. That has that is happening in Brazil. That happened and is still happening in Venezuela even after Chavez's death. Death. This is happening in. Argentina with Cristina Kirchner, this is happening in uh, many other places in Latin America. It's bad socialism. Uh, you know, there's a saying in Spanish that, that is that eh, Dios multiplicó los peces, pero Chávez quiere multiplicar los pobres. Which is that you want to, you want to mul multiplicate. Is that a word? Add up, or sum, multiplicate. The poor people for your benefit and to stay in power, as I said. And uh, it's a problem. And I see the United States is going in that direction with Hillary Clinton's campaign about embracing everyone. Yes, of course, you have to embrace everyone. Everyone that is in the United States at this moment. Yes, they are Americans. But the problem is not the people that are in the United States now. The problem is the people who eventually will continue to get in. That's the issue that that we need to discuss. I saw a video with Ann Coulter and Bill, Bill, Bill Maher's show and um, she said this, she said everything, everything I'm saying and more and uh, the, 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 the arguments against what she was saying was that no, 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 but, uh, the, but America is, it has a lot of Spanish, um, I'm sorry, Latin people 
already and you have to take, take care of them. One lady talked about her immigrant parents, which makes, which makes no sense because she, uncultured, said that you should take, take care of the people who already are in the United States because they are Americans. But there should be a strong stance against the type of immigration that we are seeing today. Now, I am Latin, I am Venezuelan, for those of you who not, don't, don't know what that is, that is in the north of South America, it's next to Colombia, it's next to Brazil, it's under a horrible economic, political, social problems, and I would, as a Venezuelan, please ask you to read more about it, to, to see what the horrible things that are happening in my country. People are literally starving to death. Um, and so, but even still, I understand that you need to have good immigration, as she said, bring la creme de la creme to your country to make your, prog your country progress. And it's not about race, because if Canada had the culture that poor Mexico has, they would be against Canadian immigration. It's not about race. It's not about race. It's about culture. Uh, if you go to Mexico City, to the big businesses, you will find things that are completely different. People always say to me, oh, you're Latin, but you speak English and you're white. And, you know, it's much more complex than that. And um, you just need to understand more about uh, the system that we live in today. So that's my comment. Uh, do I want to say something else? Yes. Uh, the audience on Bill, Bill Maher's show, they are really stupid, and Ann Coulter actually said that. Oh, and by the way, I can't even believe that I am agreeing with Ann Coulter, because I think she's been so repulsive for so many times, saying xenophobic, homophobic, racist, well, yeah, racist things. But today I agree with her, and I think it's important to listen to the other side. To listen. We, we've forgotten to listen to Republicans. We need to listen to their points. We need to hear them. You know, the people on, on, on Bill Maher's show were booing and were clapping to things that they obvious, obviously didn't have no idea. It's like they've been brain, brainwashed. So, you know, read, read more. Inform yourself better before you make a judgment, before you, you, you applaud someone, because applauding is a very powerful um, weapon, and you need to know who you are applauding and who are you booing. And um, yeah, just try to listen. If someone watches this video, I'll try to comment it somewhere, but um, if you disagree, or, or please tell me, please comment, but don't call me an idiot or don't call me names. Don't character assassinate me because that's what liberals I now am, uh, I, I now am seeing that character assassination is liberals' arguments, and I consider myself a liberal, a social liberal. Uh, but uh, you have to have arguments, factual arguments, against what you are against. Uh, you can't just be told. And uh, television today, I see mainly in the United States, that uh, it's people giving their opinions. There aren't news anymore. It's people giving their opinion. And, um, you know, you stop... When you listen to someone uh, op opini opinate or say what they think, you forgot to think for yourself. And that's the problem with, example, religion. I'm an atheist. You need to know why you are against it, you need to research, you need to think before you speak. And that's all I have to say. So leave a comment. I'm trying to market myself in this video. I don't know. Leave a comment. And yeah. Don't subscribe. I don't need it, subscribers. I just like a likes. Just, just like me. Okay, bye.